Good morning, welcome back to another day in the life vlog. I set an alarm for 8 o'clock today because I want to start getting into a better sleeping pattern and routine and it's the first time I've set the alarm in so long and it was so loud wasn't it? It was really loud. <laughs> I need to fix that. Um, but it's now, we set it for 8, it's now 20 to 9, still not quite out of bed yet. Um, but I am just going to check my island on Animal Crossing because today the shop has expanded. I've got a bridge that's finished being built and I think there was one more thing I was waiting on that's going to happen today. Oh no, actually the shop expands today. So I'm going to play a little bit for 10 minutes and then I'm getting up. Um, but yeah, welcome back to another vlog. Let's see the day. This is what my bedroom is currently looking like. I haven't got any of the units that I want yet. So everything is just chilling on the floor. This is a bit of a mess. I don't have this quite how I want. This is my very strange bathroom slash utility laundry area i'm not quite sure again it's a bit of a mess i did have a load of stuff here that i moved out yay i've got a whole new room to work with upstairs i might move my bedroom up here because this feels a lot bigger i've got um a workbench area here with all my tools because i hated carrying everything and i've got a little play area here my shop is under renovation today this is and then, oh, I've got a new bridge. Here are all of my villagers, my islanders. Here they are. How cute. Another reason I had to set an alarm this morning is because I have a video call at half past nine. I've just put my contacts in. They're not settling. Can you hear? I've got hiccups. So that is not going to be great for me on a video call. Oh my goodness. My hair, my hiccups. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I have the windows open. And I can hear the birds. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's so lovely. The weather's so nice and I'm feeling good today. I actually have just finished my call and I have another one tomorrow. I am actually quite busy at the moment. I have a few projects that I've been working on and one of which is actually today's sponsor. So this video is very kindly sponsored by Popsa, who I've worked with before. Some of you will know who they are already, but if you don't, Popsa is an app that lets you turn your photos into beautiful photo books and I have been using them for about a year now. I have ordered myself and paid for some myself as well because I think they're so great. Um, so I have a little collection actually that I'm going to show you. I'm not going to go through each book but I just wanted to show you what they look like and I'm going to bring up the app as well and I did do a screen recording of me creating a newer book. So their mission is to make it simple to preserve your photos photos and you can create a photo book straight from your phone and as you can see I have done a few. I've also bought prints from them before as well so I've actually bought individual photos I've had printed for frames and they are really really great and I actually have a discount code it's brogan t and it gives you 30% off so if you are interested it's a really lovely way to get your photos sorted, especially as we're all at home right now. It's a really nice activity. It's actually super therapeutic to sit and do it. And it's really nice to reminisce and look at all the good times and good memories. And I really enjoyed it. It was something I did on a Sunday afternoon and it was just so lovely. So I am actually just gonna shimmy over. So basically their tech does it all for you. You don't have to have an eye for design. You don't have to, um, you know, spend hours like doing each individual photo because it actually um, automatically puts it all into a book for you. So you select all the photos you want and then it automatically fills the whole book. And then it's just a case of rearranging the photos how you want. So for me, I like the books to go in the order of a trip and you can change. So if you've put a portrait photo in a landscape, um, section of a layout you can move it along to fit how you want you can have borders you can add text honestly it is so easy even if you just download the app and have a little play with it I promise you'll actually enjoy the process of making a book so we have a little collection the quality is so so lovely I've gone with hardback books because I just like how they look and I have also upgraded to the high gloss I'm going to show you inside a couple of the books and I actually have two from the same trip that I've done slightly different to show you as well I have two because this one is going to go to my nanny we have actually already directly 
sent her two and she texted us in fact I'll put the text on screen as well bless her the texts are so sweet she said I want to tell you how much I enjoyed the two books all about you and Benji it was a joy to see how happy you both are I will show everyone she has dementia so she, I'm not, not sure who she's showing but um basically my mum told her she could keep the books and she said I'm over the moon darling you're a perfect pair a few days later she said that she's been looking at the beautiful pictures you've kindly given me are you sure I can keep them and I said yes and she said thank you so much it was really sweet I think it's really nice to do a book for a loved one maybe it could be a nice gift for somebody and also just for yourself I think they're great for us I'm gonna do them for all of our trips this one's gonna be for us this one's for my nanny as you can see you can add frames you can change the layout you can actually pick different colors as well so this one is like a teal color it actually picked it up from the <laughs> same outfit in that picture you're not gonna be able to appreciate it very much on camera but this one has the high gloss and you can pick the different layouts so some pages I have full photos um, and I really like how it feels and then the one I did for my nanny she absolutely loves flicking through these so I've done these with frames on them so it's just easier on her eye to see the pictures so I've added the frames kept them and um, you can design it exactly how you like I've got one from Disneyland and California Caribbean cruise, Morzine skiing in France, Christmas, and I also did one from Newquay because we have so many gorgeous photos from that. In fact, let me show you photos that never made it onto Instagram in the Caribbean cruise. We have loads of silly ones, like selfies and like just silly fun memories, but also we did actually have a photographer on that trip with us and I've got these really beautiful high quality photos that I just didn't really want in frames around the house but I did want printed in some respect and they've come out so lovely hopefully you can see this this was so fun on the slide on the back of this boat but um, again high gloss super nice and I even have a picture of the ship at the very back I try and have like different variations so like that's got a full photo in one page um, and then this one's got quite a lot of Instagram photos there. I absolutely love them. This might be silly, but I'm really proud of them when they arrived I was so excited because you can keep them forever and they've got all the names and the dates and They sit nicely under our coffee table So when guests come over they can like flick through like Benji's family love looking through these as well We've sent some to his family before too. So really proud to be partnering with Popsa So like I said if you're interested broken teeth are 30% off I'll leave that in the description below for you I would love to see your photo books last time I shared about pops it. some of you sent me pictures and instagram stories please do send them and tag me in them so i can see what your books look like and let me know what you think because it's a lovely activity and i think they're really nice i love them but my family love them i was just saying that your family love the books yeah we always said like from very early on in our relationship i'd like i don't want to have our phones just our pictures just on our phones mm -hmm. i want like physical albums so you can just sit down mm -hmm. like a flip through them. A couple of years after a bit going there and just look and have all the memories. Yeah, so really memories. nice way to preserve the memories, isn't it? And a lot better quality than if we were to make them ourselves as well. Well, we have done them ourselves, haven't we? And they took ages. Yeah. So this is so much easier and it's just nice to be able to flick through it. And there's loads of photos that we didn't put on Instagram as well. So there's like loads of private memories in them yeah. too. It's just really nice. Now I'm going to have some breakfast. I'm going to go and do the food shop. Are you? You're going to do that? Yeah. While I'm here, I did also want to say a big thank you for all your support and love and specifically I've had quite a lot of DMs and messages of people tagging me in things they think I'd like, links to things, sending me photos, we've had loads of photos from people's Disney day at homes and it's just been really nice, it's really cheered me up and I'm a bit slow replying because I've got so many messages at the moment but I want to say thank you so so much because it really does mean a lot and I really enjoy reading all your messages. I'm having the most epic breakfast this morning, um, just some stuff that needs eating up so I've got some salmon left gonna have a bagel thin, a little bit of Philadelphia and cucumber. I'm also gonna have a coffee from my coffee machine and I'm so glad you guys liked looking at my mugs last week and today we're gonna go for the one we always go for which is the parks ones and somebody did ask me I'm not sure if I made it obvious but these were obviously from Walt Disney World and Disneyland like the actual parks you can't get them online I don't think. to get a little table for out here but I'm gonna eat it out here oh yes in the sunshine and I've got coffee 
Ben just gone to do our food shop and I've also had a delivery turn up. Some of you might remember a few weeks ago I was very kindly sent some products from a company called The Skinny Food Co. I placed an order myself because I liked some of the products so much that I wanted to try it some more. So I've got some syrups, chocolate flavour syrup. I think that's a staple, you've got to have chocolate. Then white chocolate raspberry. I thought these would be really nice with a bowl of strawberries and raspberries. Bit of this in it, lovely. Maybe a bit of meringue could be nice. And then vanilla, thought this could be good for pancakes. I also picked up some pure olive oil cooking spray. And last but not least, I wanted to do a bit of baking. Can't find flour anywhere. So I thought I'd pick up one of these while I was placing an order. It's a cho chocolate chip flapjack mix. The next parcel that arrived is from Groupon actually, who are another brand partner of mine over on Instagram. I've been working with them for the last three, four months-ish. I was having a bit of a browse and I bought this myself and it's an under sink storage solution thing. I wanted to get one on Amazon but couldn't find one I wanted that was in stock and they had one on Groupon so we thought we'd order it so we need this desperately because under the sink it is a mess so i thought i would build this and then organize my products with you So here's the before. The under sink area is pretty grim. So we're not gonna talk about that. In fact, let's just bring everything out. We did have a little leak at one point as well. Is it still leaking? <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> okay. vinegar I don't use very much so let's put that at the back this I use every day so let's keep that at the front method is my favorite um, this one's the best this is the um, pink pomelo one pink pomelo plus the wild rhubarb bin buddy bin stuff Fuck, got there compost bags we're gonna slide under there um, we've got some flora can go on that shelf. All in one disinfectant, stainless steel cleaner. This is really good to keep that out. I don't know why, but I seem to have a lot of multi cleaner sprays. So we'll put those in a line together, and then this is the one I use all the time. Would you look at that? That is so much better. I actually do have quite a few other cleaning bits over here in those cupboards. This food caddy can go under there as well. Oh, I've got Febreze. I love that. Let's keep that out of here. I've got like carpet cleaner and the sugar soap scrub stuff. That's carpet. So, in fact, let's leave some stuff. So that can go at the back because we don't need that anymore. This is for carpets. Okay, sponges, cloths and gloves. More little cloths. In fact, that one can go in there. Dusting cloths, dusters, dustpan and brush. Got a little first aid kit down there. This is looking a bit better, so I'm going to move these things into the other cupboard. Right, I think I'm happy now. I just cut off the top of the washing tablets. I need to get a little pot for stuff like that, but there we go. Oh, Benji's home too, so I can show it off. <laughs> oh yeah, look at the eggs. They're white. I know. <laughs> I've just had an ASOS order arrive as well. The pyjama shorts and top I showed you in the last vlog. I also ordered the long trouser bottoms because I loved it so much I thought I can wear those if it's a little chillier in the evening. But the next task we're doing, I'll leave my phone there, is going in the loft and we have some loft storage, one final unit to build. We'll show you, it makes sense when you get up there. He wants to make it look a little bit nicer so he's doing like candy floss styly on the oh you oh, did not lick it that you did not lick that yes, <laughs> it looked like you did from here so loft storage we bought these 
units from Ikea. So yeah, most stuff is in boxes on this side. We've got suitcases, obviously. That's our Christmas tree at the back over there. A couple of bits here. And then obviously this does need like boarding properly but Benji did a really good job on most of this stuff big L -shape, but we, we're planning to move the loft hatch into the hallway because it's not in the hallway at the moment so yeah that's why it's not been boarded this way because it's going to be a we're going to move it actually. so we just boarded what we needed but yeah this side's looking a bit grim and then we've got our suitcases just <laughs> over there so I'm going to put those somewhere a bit better cardboard needs to come down this was from the old owners they left so much stuff up oh, here I did two Bull trip runs in the van. I wish we had checked up here. If you're moving house, highly recommend you double check the loft. I mean, the woman had what eight weeks? Yeah, to move out, Nine and she just—I reckon she moved stuff up here because she didn't want to get rid of it. But look, there's a still because I couldn't carry it down on my own. That probably weighs about thirty. That's kilos, not ours. Forty kilos full of VHSs. Disgusting. There was uh, look, old old water storage tanks. Where? Uh, there, there. Oh, this. But there was two more of these as well that I had to cut up. Right, there is the extra unit. So now, we're just gonna organize it a little bit better. Yeah, I don't know if you guys, anyone's into archeology span or <laughs> anything from the ancient Greeks, but this is a GoPro 3. That's how much we've loved GoPro for that long, my brother and I. And this was one of my older vlogging cameras. The S120, Canon S120. It's even got tape on it. <laughs> it, does, it does actually work, I just can't bear to throw it away. There we go. So that stuff is for sale. Like I'm going to sell it on Depop eventually. And then all that's clean and tidy at the back. Spare boxes, Christmas, bedding and pillows, Christmas tree. And then final bits here. This stuff is for charity. So this is looking great. I can know where everything is now, which is so good. And now I'm worn out and I'm sweaty. Okay, so we're not hungry for lunch yet, but we are going to bake the flapjacks. Line your tin with parchment paper. Pa do we have to go back to the Egyptian times? Parchment? Get, you mean get like a scroll? Baking, baking paper. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they mean. I've never heard it be called parchment paper before. Parchment paper, yeah. Parchment's like what they used to. dust on your... Oh my yeah. god, look. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> oh, we didn't tell them. You fixed the oven. Like a semi-pro that you are. On oven uh, fixing. Semi-pro. <laughs> yeah. By definition, literally professional. But professional electrician, but not on ovens. My certificates are literally in the hallway there. You said yourself, I don't do ovens. Oh, I don't do ovens. You did fix it though. <laughs> just done great. <laughs> right, melted coconut oil. And I'll put the oven on. We want 180. 25 millilitres of milk. I want to get one of those turntables oh he's not got his apron on <laughs> i want to get one of those glass or plastic circular turn things that we can put in there because this is becoming a mess and i can't see what's in we there well we did actually discuss having open shelves on this wall but yeah. um we've got too many like condiments do you like flapjacks <laughs> oh <laughs> they didn't have any others available everything got no, sold I out mind, i don't mind flapjacks I thought they could be quite nice after lunch. You know I'm going to completely go back to what I said. I do like flapjacks, but mum always used to sneak in like raisins and that, so I was like, yeah, it's chocolate flapjacks. Did she oh, put like raisins. seeds and things in? Yeah. That's what happens when you grow up a vegetarian. Everything <laughs> has seeds and pulses. That tray's better. I think so. We kind of want something in between, in like in the middle, but... We don't have it. We don't have something in the middle. We don't really have much baking stuff, do we? No. While we wait for that to cook, we're going to do our final puzzle as the Thomas Kincaid collection. This is uh, the Jungle Book. This one in the bottom corner. So we're not going to film much of this today because we've been filming puzzles <laughs> every vlog. 
um, but we're loving them. So, also, a lot of people telling me that they're finding their puzzles really difficult. I should add, these ones are 500 pieces, not a thousand, and you have to do the edges first, and it really depends on the puzzle. What I was gonna say is, we have struggled with puzzles in the past um, where they've been too complicated. But there's too much going on on them so i think it really does depend on the type of puzzle you pick some puzzles are like very they have they have too much like block colors yeah and then it's not enjoyable to find the pieces that match because then you end up having to fit the pieces rather than complete the picture i know what you mean yeah you go by what shape fits in what hole rather yeah. than what area of the puzzle yeah fit. which is basically what we did at the very end with the last one with the yeah. yellow because you just get left with the sky or the sea or something don't you yeah um this one this yeah one's this gonna one's gonna be the hardest one i think that's why we left it till last no we just did it in the order didn't it, we it's very green it's got a lot of green and water waterfalls lots of flowers and the annoying thing is is the flowers are all like the same sort of colors yeah and i think we've because this is painted with like um, printed ones. I know obviously this is printed onto a puzzle, but the, the, the colours like merge into each other a lot more. Yes. Whereas with like a, a well, digital one, it would be very separate, wouldn't it? Grabbing that bit with all the chocolatey bits. We've got the uh, Ultimate Trash On, episode four at this point, I think. Is this number four? Yeah. And we've done the edges and we're just sorting it now so this is like animals and people we've got the bigger um people and animals that's kind of the sky and then that's the rest of it so i've just remembered that i've got a video ready for today so i've just made this thumbnail we're friends with a girl called faye who's actually a fellow youtuber i'll leave her link below because if you like my vlogs you'll like her as well she's fab anyway we've been voice memoing because we have each other's phone number and we've been talking over whatsapp we did ask for my address a couple of days ago and i didn't know what she was sending and i've just received it from amazon and it's a gift and it's a coloring book as some of you know i've been enjoying my coloring and i told her the other day that um i was struggling with my other coloring book and i've got a new one which has got quotes in it and she said oh i've got a really lovely one it's called um, enchanted forest anyway in the little note she put brogan i really hope you didn't already get this and i hope you didn't find it too detailed but <laughs> it's not fair it's perfect but there's some lovely pages in here i've really loved our chats recently so this is a little thank you sending you good vibes love faye i don't know what i did to deserve such lovely friends but faye this is so lovely and it is she's right it's a really beautiful coloring book i like my quotes one as well that i got but this one is on another level because it's absolutely beautiful like really really pretty like some pages are more simple than others there's like lots of animals and i just really love it i'm really chuffed so that is a lovely surprise thank you faye the other thing i ordered that's just arrived from amazon is some command hooks and i'm going to use these for our tea towels and i'm going to try and organize my hair dryer and straighteners um with these like hang them i don't know if it'll work but i've got a little pack of those so yes i need to message Faye now and say thank you benji still hasn't built the bathroom shelves yet so i've got a lot of stuff but i was hoping i might be able to hang my hair straighteners in here hidden to you know get rid of these wires and also my hair dryer i'm wondering if it can like hook like that somehow let me figure it out even with this part of my hair dryer on which makes it obviously bulkier i can manage to get to fit so that looks good okay i've just hung the tea towels on there as well because we originally bought this hook thing from ikea looks like this and we ordered it online and as you can see it's just way too bulky so i wanted something that was a bit of a better solution and obviously i can take them down if I want less or I want them spaced out, I can change them. So this is a lot better solution then. We'll find a use for this somewhere else, but yeah, I think that looks all right. Hang the tea towels on the side there. When I moved house, I found this Minnie Mouse pouch and I was like, what's in here? And it was one of these red carpet manicure little LED light things with the charger and a bunch of polishes now from memory i think i might be low on the top coat or one of the coats and i can't remember 
what order you put them in but i totally forgot i actually had this oh yeah i'm running out of this stuff I'm not sure what that is um so i thought i'd give it a go because i normally get my nails done uh gel nails done every month sometimes twice a month depending on what i've got going on oh good i saved the instructions that is very handy instruction manual okay good so i have actually been enjoying not having anything on them just to try and strengthen them and get them back to some sort of fairly nice ish quality so i've been using the se treat love and color it's basically like a strengthener top coat thing it hasn't stopped me biting them though that's one of the worst things i do is i bite my nails and i also bite the skin around my nails so they sometimes bleed and that's why i have like all red around my cuticles love that i love any where anyone is doing anything to basically feel more like you're in the parks you're at disney it's the only way we can feel like we're there i did have a slight problem because i don't have the purify cleanser which obviously gets rid of like this tacky residue and i don't have any lint free nail wipes so there was probably a reason why i just stopped using this kit because i didn't have the, everything i needed but i have done it they don't look great i mean they look okay let me come in close so you can see them they're not too bad I just, I didn't love the process of doing them. It took way longer than I wanted it to. It is nice to have them like done, but they are a bit sticky. So I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to stick my AirPods in, listen to a video and take you on a little walk. I don't know where we're going to go, but we're going to go somewhere for a walk. You're jealous of your walk. You're jealous of my walk? Yeah. Well, we've been on a walk every day together for the last week. Yeah. Well, come on the walk then. You just said you want to do a workout. Yeah, I do. Why don't, you, why don't we do a 20 minute walk together and then you come back and do a. It won't be long. No. No. Okay. I am so enjoying this. It is so peaceful. I didn't even need my headphones because the birds. Hopefully, you can hear that on camera. So nice. I just wanted to say thank you for all your support and I'm really enjoying the content I've been making and obviously a few weeks ago I made that decision to switch from weekly vlogs to day in the life and it's really allowed me to have a bit more privacy and balance and boundaries and I'm honestly not sure how I weekly vlog for so long but I'm really enjoying the chance to film a whole day and have a few days off of being on the vlog like i'm always working that hasn't changed i still have so many other things that need to get done but it is really nice not to have to put myself on camera every single day i mean i'm on instagram stories and i'm constantly taking photos and that's just the way things have been for me for the last like nine years but i just want to say thank you for being open to change and letting me have a little bit more space and a lot of you have actually been enjoying the day in the lives more than the weekly vlog which is a surprise to me and i'm really glad because it makes me want to make more and more and more so i think i'm on this is number six i think this is six if you're including the disney day at home as well and benji's been enjoying them as well it means that he doesn't have to be on camera every single day as well because you know even though he's not working it's still his home and he is home every day at the moment so i think it's nice it's just a good balance right now so and there's nothing to say that you know when things return to some sort of normality and maybe we do a weekend away or i go to an event i stay in london overnight i might film two days back to back or i might film a weekly vlog if it works sorry i had to cut that a little bit short because those people were walking past me but anyway you get what i was trying to say yeah i'm feeling good i mean like i said yesterday was not a great day i felt really really sad i felt very like helpless and worried i'm overthinking a lot i'm not sleeping very well and then in turn i'm really tired during the day I'm having crazy dreams which apparently is really normal um and my heart rate like my heart is racing i'm gonna listen to a bit of a podcast and then reply to some comments and then head home okay so i'm working on a video that i've been meaning to do for ages but wanted to do it when i had a bit more time and basically i made a video called 2019 reflection which was a look back at all the best bits and things i did last year and i made it in collaboration with canon and i basically want to use this video to cut out the bits before and after and make it a memories video with all the 
clips that I use. Oh, I think I've just deleted the song. Okay, it's now 20 past seven and I've just finished doing this video that has now turned into such a lovely montage that I'm tempted to put it up as a trailer on my channel so that anyone new that comes to my videos can see the kind of thing that we do. There's so many amazing memories in this 2019 video. We were going to have pizzas tonight, make them ourselves with um, like wraps and Ben, she got all the ingredients, but we're gonna do that another night because we had this chicken that we were meant to cook the night the oven broke, <laughs> and we're not overly hungry, and we do have some wraps. Um, so we're just gonna have chicken wraps instead of making the pizza. So I just made myself a cup of tea, and Benji is playing one last game of Call of Duty, and I'm gonna have a shower, so I'm not gonna wash my hair. I'm just gonna have a quick body shower, so I'm just gonna tie my hair up. Good, and take my contacts out, and then I'll brush my teeth after I finish my tea. And I'm gonna play a bit of Animal Crossing. Maybe put something on the TV on Disney Plus. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the day, doesn't it? So I hope you've enjoyed this day in the life once again. If you have, and you're not subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe, hit that like button really helps my channel. Big thank you to Popsa for being the sponsor of this vlog and if you are interested in Popsa I will leave the link where you can download the app. Brogan Tea gets you 30% off and that's valid until the end of July so all the T's and C's and everything you need to know will be in the description and I'd love to see your books so don't forget to tag me in those. And that pretty much is it so I will see you again in the next vlog. Thanks so much for watching. See you again very soon. Bye!